Hi, Michael Gappy with another recipe from my book and my DIY system called Flower Crazy. Uh, you can get all the recipes and all the information at flowerschool101, 101.com or flowercrazybymichael.com. As you know, Flower Crazy comes with three different lids, four recipes for each lid. Uh, you can do your own, but every recipe gives you perfect flowers every time. Uh, right now we're going to do our all rose bouquet. It's right out of your book. And uh, everybody knows that uh, the, one of the most requested, it's actually right on the box, is this design right here, this all rose bouquet. So that's the design we're going to do right now. So for this design, I'm going to take my second lid, which has all medium sized holes. And the reason uh, Flower Crazy works so well, it has these little holes angled with little uh, thick lucite uh, uh, circles that'll direct your flowers in the perfect position. The other thing that's great about Flower Crazy, you take all your flowers and you cut them at one length. There's no second guessing the length, which I think is one of the hardest things people find when they're doing flower designing, is they always are wondering how long to cut the flowers. So look at this, watch this. I'm gonna cut them all the same length and I'm ready to design. So when you start with your flower crazy, you start at your outer ring and just line these flowers up next to each other and just follow the guide hole. It goes straight across your container to the other side. Get rid of any thorns. You don't want to use really thick roses. Use like 80% of all roses will work in this container. You want a nice, um, medium, uh, uh, small to medium width rose. You don't want a big giant rose for this container. Um, but again, we're cutting them all the same length and we're just following our pattern all around the outside. I invented Flower Crazy after 30 years of teaching design all in cities all across America. And uh, this makes it easy for everyone to do some really great designing at home. Again, I'm cutting all the stems the same length. So you can see I've done my outer ring and my flower crazy lid. Now I'm going to move to the inner and then the center ring. The same, uh, I'm cutting my flowers all the same length, eight, maybe nine inches. If you want a little bit taller in the middle, add an extra inch. So I'm adding my second layer all around and uh, building what I call an igloo. I'm building a little igloo of red. So I'm going into my second layer. Uh, if you notice, my roses are open. Whenever we do this style of design, we want our roses to be nice and open. So I put these in warm water to force them open. Warm water causes your flowers to open. So we like nice open roses when we're doing this type of design. This design is gonna take about 20 to 25 roses. If you don't want it to use that many roses, start on the inner ring. It'll still work. You'll have a smaller bouquet, but uh, you'll still have the same pattern and the same look with less flowers. So I'm finishing up on my inner ring, and then I'm gonna go to my top ring on my flower crazy lid. And enter some roses up there. And when you're done, you're gonna have the perfect sh dome shape that every bride is looking for these days. And I often talk about flower crazy. It, the, the holes give you enough wiggle room so you're gonna feel like a designer because you can see I can play with them up and down a little bit to, to wiggle them into perfection. So it still relies on you and your visual eye to create a nice design. Again, one of the most popular designs in America is this one right here. And I did this in about three minutes, just following my flower crazy patterns in my lid. Watch out for those thick ones. Uh, I've got about three more to add, and I'm done. Play with them a little bit, set them into your nice dome. And this is recipe. The recipe is called the All Rose Bouquet. Um, I did this in about three minutes. Doesn't take long. Pat them into place. And there you go, perfect flowers every time with Flower Crazy. I've got another recipe coming up. Stay tuned.